Hey guys, it's Granger Smith. I know you're probably trying to find Sweetie, and he's really going through a rough patch right now, you know, because of the breakup and everything, so she's not taking calls. But you can pre-order, pre-save my brand new album that comes out on September 25th. All you have to do is click the link on the text I'm about to send you right now. Now that is clever marketing. Way to go, Granger. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, I'm going to link the video in the description below. Cheers. Hey guys, guess what? I just realized it's Friday night. I don't have a video out. Not that I needed to have one out tonight. I try and give you guys as many as I can. But um, it occurred to me that a lot of you guys have been asking about eyes. 3D lure eyes. And I wanted to give you, I've given you little tastes and sprinkles of what I use. I give you parts every once in a while. But I'm going to kind of do a rundown of just about everything that I use out there. And some of them are just super, super cool. Some of them are easy to come by. Some of them cost more than others, and all of them are accessible to you. So let's get into it. These are a couple of things that I'm working on. Let me get that out of the way. Starting out with what's right in front of us. Just got in a new order from Lure Parts Online they have a myriad of different tackle and accessories and supplies for lure building rod making you name it if it's under the sun and fishing they've got it fresh water salt water uh, plastic wood um just every everything lure parts online it's exactly what it says it's lureparts.online.com and this stuff right here is, is uh, just part of the newest stuff that I have gotten from them. So I'm going to take just a couple of minutes to go over what I like to buy from them. Because I don't get everything that they offer, but I do get a lot of stuff from them. So starting out with these really, really cool. I'm going to try and pull this over to give you guys the best look at them that I can. Starting with these. These are the actual real eyes. These are 4.5s. I get a bunch of different sizes because I work in all different sizes on baits and lures. So these are the real eyes, the planes, and then they also come in red. And I'm just going to show you a couple of them. These are phenomenal smallmouth eyes. A couple of different inflections in them. Really good pupils. And then showing you just a little bit larger of a size. This would, they tell you, quarter inch, six millimeter. And that's important. I like it when they tell you. And that's also your order part number. So you can do a search. You can pause this video. You can do a search for this particular part number. These are phenomenal eyes. You can't go wrong. They're fairly inexpensive. I think these are like three bucks for a pack this size. Comes in 28 and then as you get larger in these, here's the large reds in 12 mil. Yes, I do baits that big for musky. And in the normal, but look at how specific and detailed this eye is, folks. It's just the same in the smaller version of it, but this really shows off what this eye is capable of looking like on a bait. So that is Lure Parts Online Real Eyes, and I have several of them because this is a fairly large order that I got from them. And then you guys always ask me about the glows. I needed to re-up on my greens, and look at how that shines. Look at how much reflectivity is on there. And the yellows, the fluorescent yellows are just the same. Here is your part number. That's what they're called, lowerpartsonline.com. Get you some. You will not be disappointed. These are great for zombie eyes, by the way. They, they do really, really well for zombie type stuff. So let's slide these off. The, I think the only other thing that would be worth showing you guys is I got some 
These I love. I don't like everything out of there, but that's just personal preference. They do um, two-dimensional stick-on eyes for like the spooks and the Sammies and stuff like that that don't have the hollowed-out divot for 3D eyes. So this is the red, white, and black, which is good. And then they also make the orange, white, and black. So here are your part numbers on those. And there you go. So pause, rewind, do whatever it is you need to do. I got some reds too. I like the reds as well. And this is like a size five. So I got a little bit smaller version. I normally get the six, but I'm doing some stuff with fives these days. Lots of stuff with fives. So I just thought that it would be appropriate to order some fives this go around. So that, I normally separate all my eyes in bags. So I'm obviously going to need a larger bag because I got some more stuff from them. And they also do, for walleye, they do these musky type, almost a goat, they call it a ghost eye. And there's several different colors that those come in. Just on top I have the orange and the lime green. So if you want to, and this is obviously a little bit, a little bit older, I don't use these as often as I used to, but they still make really good eyes and they're fairly inexpensive. So just jump online, go to Lure Parts online, take a look at all they have to offer. They're constantly updating their website. So there's always some new stuff on there. Um, next up for you guys, I'm going to show you the glass eyes. And this is just a sample of them problems that I have with the glass eyes. I'm going to go through the cons with this first. And I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm just going to show you a few of them. Just pull them out of the bag. Um, I like them. And these are mostly what I have are 6 mil and 10 mil in this size. They're very cool. Um, downside number one, these are not on a backing that is sticky. So you can't peel this off like some of the companies. Uh, they don't stick, so you have to use glue with them. Although, if you're like me, I use glue on everything. And they do have some good eyes. They have, they've got some really cool styles. Uh, they're called Glass Cabuchon, and I keep them in the description below. I can get these at Amazon. I do not use, because they're glass, these are actual glass eyes. I don't use them on anything that's going to be a bottom bang bait. So, any kind of a lipless you don't want to necessarily use them on, square bills, anything that's going to be really abused on the bottom or on trees or on rocks, you stand a chance of chipping these glass eyes. So uh, just to give you an idea, like I use them on top water. And because they're not resin, um, they are a little bit heavier than say your resin dipped eyes. But they do come in some really cool styles. Let's see if we can open. There we go. Open that up. So just, just giving you guys options. This is available on Amazon. Amazon, Amazon for glass eyes. Or AliExpress. I think you can get them on AliExpress as well. Just show you one more style there. And then all, all different manner of colors. They've pretty much got colors to match everything that you could possibly be want. I used to do these on the Night King on some of the top water stuff that I would do. And again, these come in all different sizes. You really have to be careful. Some, sometimes you get them in a mixed bag, and I guarantee you, if it says it's a pack of 100, it's going to be like 80. They're going to short you. Um, that's the other down, the biggest downside, is that you never get the actual quantity that they say they're going to send because nobody counts them. So unfortunately, that is the case with that. So, and that, you know, you're paying, you're paying good money for stuff. So you need to make sure, and you get them in, uh, I usually get them bulk, which is why I have so many, um, but they are good. I mean, they're, they're not horrible eyes, and they, they get the job done, and they're cool looking. What I want to show you next, I started out just getting into Dead Meat Customs because of this, this pair of eyes. Um, I got actually two pair of eyes with this, and I used them on a bait that you probably saw right around, gosh, February of this year, maybe January. So this was an autism awareness challenge that Dead Meat Customs Matt over at Dead Meat put out because he raises money for them every year, 
um, and it's a fantastic cause. It helps autistic children and their families um, gain financial acuity in areas where they otherwise would not have it. Um, it helps them pay for things like education and medicine and things that they need on a day-to-day -day basis and a lot of families that have children with autism living with autism can't afford the insurance to get everything that they need so matt is a wonderful wonderful person and out of the goodness of his heart and a lot of us anglers um, does some competitions every year so this is the autism awareness and i was so drawn into these eyes um, that I, I got to know Matt over the last few months and he's a really, really good guy. He lives um, in the Southwest and I want to show you, I just got my first big order from him and this is Dead Meat Custom and I'm going to show you some cool stickers. I'm going to show you some of his eyes. Um, he has some really, really good stuff. You, he lives on Facebook and this is just one of the many stickers that he has um, in his business. He's been in business for a few years now and just super guy, sent along all these stickers. He's avid fly fisherman, he's a guide in the Southwest and um, as, a, as an artist that competed and donated a bait for his autism awareness fundraiser, he also sent me the creative con concept contest um, as a thank you out of the goodness of his heart, as he did with all of the stickers that I have from him. So just as an example of some of the stuff that he puts out, let's see if we can get you some eyes singled out here, just to show you. Let's, let's take this out. Let's do it some justice here. He makes some really, really good products and they're handmade here in the United States and I'm going to feature I wouldn't say it's his direct competitor because in the small business association um, or, or group of folks we're really not competitors for community because all small businesses um, need to exist to feed their families so if you guys can see how beautiful that eye is that's the kind of, that's the caliber of work that Matt does with his eyes. And I'm going to show you a few different types. Um, just really, really impressed with his level of work and detail. And you again, you can find him on Facebook. It's Dead Meat Customs. And um, I don't he, he has a website, but it's not a shoppable website. You just need to hit him up on a direct message. He um, he caters a lot to the musky crowd. There's something else from him. They're, they're just beautiful. Now his eyes on the back, you do peel that off and it's sticky. I still recommend on all of your baits um, that you take the extra time. Just a few just beautiful, beautiful styles that he and they're so lifelike. They're so incredibly lifelike. But take the extra time, folks, to, uh, to super glue your eyes. I just got this order, which is why I don't have these pulled apart and ready to go for you guys. Because this is sort of a last minute thing. I'm like, you know what? You guys have been asking me. You always ask when I showcase debates. Um, I get direct messages on where I get the eyes at. And this is certainly, look at, look at the detail on this. Folks, that's amazing. It even has that, that sort of a, holographic image on the internal pupil that you would it mimics a real fish I mean it's super close so Matt Dead Meat Customs look him up he's got literally dozens and dozens and dozens of styles to choose from I'm looking for one particular kind um, and it's just only because I love graffiti uh, and street art that's one of my things so the XI is a, it's on a lot of graffiti art that you see on walls and murals in the street and I just I love that particular style eye. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, you can't go wrong. He does some mixes and matches. And I think the smallest size that Matt does is 8 millimeter. So again, he caters to a larger community of bait makers, a lot of the musky crowd. 
And bringing up the rear, last but certainly not least, I know that I have featured this guy, I don't even know how many times. I've been working with John over at Jets and Lure Eyes for years now, for years. And he's always good to his community. Again, when you get into the customs and detail work, these guys do get backed up. Look at that, look at that. Um, they get backed up, so they're, they're kind of like us bait makers and, and painters. Um, it's going to take a little while to get your get your product, so don't hold your breath. You know, you might be able to get some stuff from Amazon really fast, but you have to look at the quality of what's coming out of these bait makers that are doing it, and look at the detailing that goes into these eyes. And he always labels. This is John over at Jetson. He always labels his work in the millimeter that he's sending you. So this is just a just a little quick deal here. Well, sort of quick. It, it would have been quicker, but I wanted to show you. I really wanted to get in depth and show you the stuff that uh, that I order. And it's worth it. Please, please support small business. Check out Dead Meat Customs. Check out Jets and Lure Eyes. That is what I have to show you guys. Lure Parts Online. And yes, you can get them at Amazon. They're inexpensive. And when I started out, when I first started out, probably the first year or so, that's what I was buying. I was buying off a of Tackle Warehouse, which does Sixth Sense Eyes. And I was buying off of Amazon. But when you really want to up your game, give these fellas a look because it's so worth it. It's so worth it. You guys have a great evening. I hope you catch a lot of fish this weekend, or if it's not a weekend when you're watching it, watch it when you can, and I hope you're having a great day. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.